today's video we are going to be talking about uploading your products to Teachers Pay Teachers and then I'm going to show you your the manual way of adding your store to the TPT site-wide sale that's coming next week. Stay tuned! Hi everyone, my name is Lorianne and if you are new or returning, welcome! Let's get into this. So one of the most requested tutorial is how do I upload multiple products or multiple documents or whatever to TPT because it only allows for one file. Super easy. I'm going to show you how to do it in just a moment. TPT will allow you to upload, I believe it is five, five different product types or formats. So you can upload a PDF, you can upload a video. There is a separate easel activity um, upload that you can do. Google, and you can do Google two ways. You can either share your drive, which I'll show you in a moment, or you can upload a link to your drive. Okay, there's pros and cons to both. You can add things to a bundle. So a bundle is resources that you are pooling together. And then if you want to add a couple extra things, you they give you room to do that. Anyways, we're going to go in there and talk about it. But let me just quickly say, at the time of this video, the TPT site-wide sale, the back to school TPT site-wide sale is happening next week, August 2nd, August 3rd. The back to school sale always happens on the first Tuesday and Wednesday of August. So last year it was the third and fourth, this year it's the second and third. Teachers pay teachers will not set up your store for the sale. You have to do that manually. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you. It does. It takes 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Super easy. However, if you're uploading after you've set your store up for the sale, you've got to add those products manually. And I'm going to show you because since I added my store to the sale, I uploaded two products and I'm going to upload a third this weekend. So I got to do them manually or they don't get part, they're not part of the sale. Okay. Let me turn the camera around. We'll, I'll show you all the different uploads. I'm going to actually show you how I upload some boom cards. Now boom cards are very similar because I use a PDF. My, you cannot upload your boom cards to Teachers Pay Teachers because Boom Learning is its own platform. What you have to do is you upload a link to Boom Learning, okay? In some ways I do the same thing with Google Slides. When I make my Google, my Boom cards, I actually create two documents. I keep one and I'll show you and you can do this in one, so you don't have to do what I'm doing, but this, I'm doing this so that you can see two different documents and I'm going to create a zip folder. That is how you put multiple things together and upload the zip folder. And zip, fo zip files can be your best friend. <laughs> okay. So you're starting in PowerPoint because this is normally where I am just before I make my files for uploading. This is a template that I use for Boom. And what I do is I just change out the image right here. And then as part of my uh, flat pack, which you can't quite see on the screen, I add a link here. So there's a, actually there's a link that I've inserted. And then in my flat pack, I do not flatten the link but I flatten everything else. PDFs will allow a link with them. Uh, you cannot do this with an image that I know of, but you can definitely do it with a PDF. And so I've, oh, and I've already created a, convert this into a PDF, and then it goes into um, my flat pack secured files. So that's where I start. And if you notice here, I've got a landscape type image going to be a PDF. I'm also going to need a terms of use and credits, which is a portrait. So one of the questions was, how do you combine a landscape and a portrait 
uh, resource. This is how I do it. I keep them separate. I keep, I make them PDFs, but they're separate PDFs. So let me go to my file. So just so you can see this, but here are my flat pack secure files and here they are. So this is the one I just saved and I number them one and two so that when people open up the file, they know that the first one is going to be the actual link to Boom, and the second one is the terms of use and credits. So this is another template. Both of them are templates. I just fill in the blanks. Saves so much time. Now, I can't upload these as is onto Teachers Pay Teachers, so I right-click, create a new fo folder. I will name it And then I drag these in there, one, two, and right click, compress, or zip. What I'm doing is I'm creating a folder that will be accepted in Teachers Pay Teachers. So now I can go into Teachers Pay Teachers and upload this. Go to your dashboard in your store, and here is where it says Add New Products. Here are your choices of products. We are going to mainly use this one, but if you have a single video file, you may upload it here. It doesn't say the size uh, maximum, but I suspect it would be somewhere around an hour of a, for a video. If you have an easel activity that you want to just post as an easel activity, uh, you can put this in here. This is was recently talked about at the Teachers Pay Teachers. Uh, conference. Let's go to here with Google Drive. There are, as I mentioned, two options to do this. One is you can share your Google Drive with Teachers Pay Teachers. So you would go here. This it looks the exact same as your other stuff, but when you scroll down, you're going to select from Google Drive, and this is where they are going to tell you that you need to share your drive and give them access. One of the things I do like about this is that each buyer gets a, their own unique copy. So they're not touching the master copy, but they're warning you, be careful about deleting files. You have to be very organized with your Google Drive when you're giving access to Teachers Pay Teachers, okay? But this is where you would do it. So if I say, got it, now they want me to sign in and give me access. or give them access. The other way what I do is I actually create a PDF and I put the link to the Google Slides or Google document. But I'm careful with making sure they don't have edit privileges. And I think I talk about that in a previous Google Slides uh, video. Okay, so let me go back. One of the things that you can do when you're bundling resources is you can actually add a bonus file and you can put an image up, you can put a PDF up, a Word document up, though people are having problems with that, but, or you can do again a zip folder of stuff. And when you go in here, again, most of this looks exactly the same, but here is where the bonus file is. So you would type in the title of it, drag it into here, and if you want to make a preview of that bonus, you can. Okay, anything you can to give your buyers more information so that they can make better choices with buying, the better. Let's go back to this one right here. When it comes to a digital download, there's two ways of creating a, a product. You can do it this way, which is a brand new product, but I don't do this way very often unless I'm about to create something very unique. Instead, I go to my store and go to product listings. This will save you so much time, by the way. And for the sake of uh, this video, I made a boom listing template. So it's gray, which means it's not active, okay? I'm gonna go to quick edit, and I'm going to create similar listing. And now, when I open this up, information is already going to be on here from my Boom products because as far as Boom is concerned, they want you to input this on your product description somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to take this 
Now I'm going to add my product, which is a uh, numbers to 15 counting sheep. Boom cards and boom cards is a trademarked word. So I'm going to go option two on my Mac, which puts the TM there. Now downloadable, I'm going back to that compressed file. You have up to one gig to upload here. Here is the zip folder. And I'm going to add that in there. The zip folder also compresses the size of it, makes it much smaller, which means you can add more stuff into the folder. Now I have on my desktop all the things. So all this stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to drag this. I don't know if this will show. I can't see it on my screen, but it's right here. I'm going to open it up. But I can just drag in and makes it fast. And you can add more value by giving a preview video, or you can do, I've done one or the other. More people tend to look at the previews than the preview videos, but depending on your product, you may want that preview video as well. Okay, so now I've got all my stuff uploaded. Now I just need to tweak my product description, and the price is all the same. You just change that out. I'm using clip art. I can make it active. Done. So if you are a TPT seller, you probably have this banner at the top of your store and it says ready your store. I've, my store is already ready, but I'm going to click on here anyways. And here it says, join us for a back school sale. You have to choose one of these options. If you do not do this, your store is not automatically entered into the store sales. I mean, you can still People can still get a 5% discount if they have the code, but they won't get the 25%. And that's what many people are wanting. You can have it here, you can have it here, right? And then you click new sale, and then this will change. Okay, so this is showing me a history of the sales. And if you're wanting to know previous sales dates, they're all right here. I don't wanna to go to view, I wanna to go to edit over here because I have at least two products, maybe three, that were uploaded at around the time I did this. So this is the information right now. I'm gonna hit next. And here the, oh, okay, so there's two. So these two have not been select. So I'm gonna select one, two, top. Okay, so now everything in my store is on sale. You can choose which products to put on the discount. Some people don't put something heavily discounted already, okay? Now, if you do not have this banner for some reason, and that can happen, this is how you get there. You go to your, this little car, oh, uh, sorry, you go to the little house, go to dashboard, and you go to marketing, and you get a, you're gonna go to throw a sale. And it will show up here too. Okay, so there's either this, link will take you here or going to the dashboard and the marketing will take you there. Okay. One thing that I didn't talk about before I turn the camera around that is really important is when you're about to upload, have everything ready. This is, this comes from experience. I have not had all my ducks in a row. I have not had my checklist by my, by my side. And it has been a mess. And I'm suddenly going, oh, I forgot to make thumbnails. Oh, I forgot to do photography. Oh, I forgot to do these things. And that upload can take hours if I don't have things ready. Whereas if I have everything ready, it can take probably no longer than a half an hour, maybe even 15 minutes. And sometimes I don't upload products that I've made to TBT because of the upload. Sometimes it really kind of wears on me and I just don't want to do it. It's one reason why I started creating boom cards because there's no uploading of thumbnails and big product descriptions and all these things. You can just make a cover, done, <laughs> right? Put some keywords in there, easy, you know.
If you watched a video I made a couple weeks ago on Canva, I use, I make all my thumbnails, my, my square cover, my square thumbnails in Canva, have them all ready to go. I usually put them on my desktop just so that I can just drag them on to, into the upload. Okay. So like I said, I, and you saw some of that, but have it all ready. Just have it all ready. So wherever you are in the world, I hope you and your family are staying safe being healthy and we'll catch you in that video or that playlist. See ya.